Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just supporting me and the channel, um, being able to resonate, sharing the videos. You know, we're just, our, our channel, my, well, our channel and community is growing faster than I ever thought it would be. I guess after they, they it, what is true when you pass the thousand uh sub mark i mean you just start having people subscribe to you like crazy and it's true truly a blessing for me so uh with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you are have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video if you are comfortable enough i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you can get to know me so i wish you can go ahead and drop me a couple of lines or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of the video or you just tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some trying times right now, trying to find out validation or confirmation towards their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content in my video and today the meditation music i'm listening to is called 852 hertz transform cells to higher energy symptoms and sleep so figo sleep meditation music and i will post that link in the description box below and my video today is about twin flame 101 hey Oka, seeing the blessings through your traumatic experiences you've been enduring oh jesus <laughs> take the wheel you know you i've been going through so much lately and it's just like i'm positive and i feel blessed about things you know not every day is a positive day for me it ain't always sunshine and roses you know so i don't want y'all to think like you know dad does she ever have a bad day yeah i do and half of the time i try not to show it show it to y'all you know if i'm in a bad mood i really don't show it you know people on my you know that i usually do one-on-one -on -one, they can probably notice because i usually you know, be uppity or, you know, be really talkative, you know, it's just like, they'll be lucky if they get a thumbs up from me, if they send me something or I'm like, oh, wow, that's great. You know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I'm going through a lot. So it's just like going through these things, you know, you, I, I don't like misery loves company. I'm not that type of person. So when I'm going through things, I like to see, you know, uh, you know, uh, positive you know, positive post or, you know, I try to read up some positive things and really look at my life, step back and look at my life, you know, in so many different aspects. And, you know, I always ask universe and there's times I cry, I bawl my eyes out and ask God, you know, why do I have to keep going through this? I'm tired of being tired. And I know y'all know what that means. You're tired of being tired when you have strength and strength enough alone feels like it's not working for you. You know, I go through all these different things and, you know, I really try to find a big, big picture out of all the things that I go through. And I really do. I see that and I'm very grateful for it because it's just the fact is I know through my traumatic experiences I've endured throughout my life. You know, knowing the things that I know, knowing the things that I've went through, being an open book and telling my story about all the things that I've went through in my life. You know, if you've been with me for a while, you know the things that I've went through, you know, things that I'm still dealing with, you know, and it can be hard. It really is hard at times. And I, I just try to stay prayed up, you know, because I know there are so many people out there. It can be far more worse than it, you know, I'm what I'm enduring. But this is like, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I really wouldn't. Um, being able to go through this and being able to make videos when I get my visions, being able to share that, you know, the information with y'all, being able to um, go through certain things and being able to have people resonate with me makes me feel like I'm not alone. You know, I'm not going crazy. Uh, being able to see the things for what I see, you know, it's really crazy to be able to see a lot of things, you know, it's like I have confidence in myself, but sometimes it's like we out there, you know, and it's just like being able to know people like, you know what, I get you, you know, I've had this situation happen to me, but you know, I'm not really comfortable with letting it out, but you do that for me. You know, I've heard that a lot, you know, being able to know that it, it brings me comfort knowing that the, the bad things I've endured, it helps so many people out in so many different ways. And that's the blessings that I feel like I get. 
um, being able to deal with my traumatic experiences, knowing, you know, at first I was like, God, why me? Why did I have to find out who my, my family was after this traumatic situation? Why, you know, why am I just finding out all these things now? Why could my family be honest with me? You know, why would my family ever do this to me? You know, I had a thousand and one questions um, about my situation. Which, I mean, I thought I was going to lose my mind. You know, um, uh, being able to know that your family made sure that you lived out your worst fear. You know, being adopted uh, was always uh, like a bad, bad issue for me. And I always told my family, you know, the worst fear I would have is like knowing my family the whole time and not being able to see them, not being able to experience that connection with them would be my worst fear if one of them passed away. You know, and not being able to know that. And my, you know, my adopted father, my stepmom made sure I, you know, I went through that. You know, I've experienced that knowing they knew. Um, being able to know, you know, all these things I had to heal from. You know, healing from when my family used to make fun of me. You know, telling people and bragging about who my family was, but kept that secret from me. Being able to deal with all that now. It's a hurtful situation. And I mean, it really took me. It took me to a positive place because it's like I don't wish any harm on them. I don't, you know, I don't say hateful things about them like I used to. Boy, I used to say everything up under the sun about them folks. I can just fill up. I, I can just say now somebody, you know, I had a family member ask me about them the other day. And I'm just like, oh, you know, that's not my family. But you can go, you know, go look for them and this and this and that. You know, and I guess they were trying to get for an explanation. But Universe made sure they didn't get that. You know, <laughs> I was just like, I ain't trying to explain this. I, I really don't feel like getting into it. You'll find out what you find out. But being able to go through this and seeing how many people I was being able to help through my traumatic experience, it's been really a blessing to me. Being able to say that the people that hurt me the most gave me the most strength. You know, being able to know, you know, dang, this situation would have broke anybody. You know, anybody, you know, if you didn't have that strength within yourself or see the strength within yourself, it probably would have sent somebody over the edge. It would have been homicidal or suicidal at that point. But being able to look at this and I'm just like, wow, you know, I made it this far. Even though there's times I, I cry, you know, I beg for you know that connection with my father even though i have metaphysically and spiritually but one in that physical you know if i could do it all over again you know but i know everything happens for a reason there's a bigger picture that i'm not quite seeing right now but you know i keep doing me you know i keep staying prayed up having faith in the universe you know better days are coming for me um i know he would you know universe wouldn't put me through this situation if they didn't have something you know, big towards the end of that road. So it's just like going through these things um, and being able to experience them without crying. That, that I mean, it took me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot of, you know, uh, soul searching, a lot of meditation, a lot of prayer. You know, um, there's times where I tell God I'm tired. You know, I'm mentally and emotionally drained. I don't feel like I can go anymore. But then I find that strength within myself to keep pushing, being able to see the blessings, being able to help as many people as I have, you know, being able to give them that positive encouragement, that uplift, you know, just stay strong. You know, um, you're, you're stronger than you realize you are. You know, I, I mean, I. I, when I say that, I truly mean that because it took me a lot. I mean, there's days when, I mean, when I first started my channel, people can tell I was a wreck. You know, I was a straight wreck. You would see me at so many videos just crying and trying to understand why would a family abuse a child and blame her for, you know, basically hating me, you know, just because of who I was related to. And I mean, that's bad when you're adopted and people do that. I mean, you could have sent me back to foster care, you know, if it was that big of a deal. But being able to know all the things that I know and it's just like I don't wish my my family any harm you know even though I don't really consider them family anymore it's just people I knew that have memories with you know I don't wish no ill will on them you know I wish they can heal through all the things that you have placed upon me and my children's life being able to hurt me in ways that I you know you thought I wasn't going to be able to recover from that I actually did it actually gave me a lot of strength to be able to endure the things that I endured um, being able to see strength within myself when I thought I couldn't find it anymore. Being able to just see the light at the end of the tunnel through a dark place. 
and being able to make up so many videos to tell people you know there's a, a purpose behind your pain you know see the bigger picture in the trauma that you have endured you know being able to go through so much like heartfelt I mean just I mean your family or whoever that you know that you have really experienced some really bad times with has gave you that strength you know the pain that you had to endure that traumatic situation that you've been placed in, whether if it was in adulthood or childhood, being able to face that fact and allow yourself not to be a product of your situation, knowing you could be a victor, you know, have that victory with the, within your situation, being able to see blessings throughout that because it's like you had to endure that situation for you to know who you truly are. What how far can you push yourself up to the max to know I'm not going to allow this situation to carry me on and, you know, have a pity party for myself? No, you shouldn't do that because you are not whatever your family is or, or whoever puts you in that situation. You are not what that situation is. You, you can actually say I'm the outcome of this bad situation. You know, a lot of people have been through your situation probably wouldn't have made it as far as you did you know it, it amazes me what y'all can tell me y'all endured and i'm just like wow <laughs> you know i cry at times when y'all open up and tell me and i already feel it's heartfelt because it takes a lot of strength to open up and tell somebody what you have experienced because i love it when y'all can tell me something and i keep you know everything is confidential to me and i never judge anybody for what they go through because it's just like you never you don't know what that person had to endure if you're not in their shoes. I never try to judge anybody, but I just try to tell them I, I send angels their way to help them heal from the situations they've been placed upon because situations will have you putting walls up, having you to, to the point where you have really bad relationships. You know, I'm going to say a prime example of that. Uh, being when you know you never knew experience what true love really is you tend to find yourself in bad situations but those bad situations will have you learning and growing from ways that you never thought you would you know being in a um, toxic relationship will allow you to figure out your worth your self-respect your self-love your self-care um, not putting walls up but being able to see the red flags that are giving you if you put, you find yourself in a situation like that again being able to say throughout the heartache and pain I can still find see love in my future but I know I have to heal in so many different ways and so many different levels for me able to reach that platform so it's just everything that you've gone through can bring a blessing to your life you really just have to step back you know and I have to do that myself you know step back a lot of times you know asking God why do I have to endure so much why does this pain feel like it's so hard to let go of um but knowing every day is, is tends to get better, you know, even though my dad's anniversary is in two days. Um, I just try, try to make the best of it. Um, knowing that my dad is truly loved by millions of people is a blessing. Being able to see that, you know, there are so many people that still sing the songs, you know, share his songs, being able to say he influenced their life in one way or another is truly a blessing to me. That helps me heal a lot. Um, being able to do that, it is, you know, it's hard when, you know, he's all over the place and people share his videos. If they're not sharing his videos, they share his pictures. And it's just a lot to deal with that. But just knowing he is loved by so many different people, it, you know, that helps along with the healing process. But being able to know I can help people with my traumatic situation, be able to let them know, you know, their love will prevail even though you might be in a dark place you can find a light at the end of the tunnel and better days will come for you you just really truly have to seek out for it and being able to surrender to things that you can't change so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video please drop me a line i would love to have your input on this um like and subscribe even hit your hit the notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video drop me a line so i can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out like and share thumbs up um i'm gonna give my post notification shout out um it's one of my friends from Brazil, so excuse me if I do not pronounce your name right, because only go only thing I know in uh, Portuguese is Manutabol with you know good job and Tariscus from uh, tourists. So uh, Lavari, Lavari, 
uh, Nas. I, I think I pronounced your name right. I apologize if I didn't. And um, Lisa McDevitt and Jenny Lee Rooks. So much love to you. I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.